Okay. So this one, do you want to go first? Oh, up to you. What do you want? You can go. Okay. Doc half day for being 15 minutes late. Cue malicious compliance. 15 minutes? Mm-hmm. This happened about a decade ago at my first job. It was an IT analytics service firm in India. I'm from India. While working was interesting, the work hours were insane and folks used to work 12 hours a day, usually. Since we had conference calls with our counterparts sitting in USA, we ended our work day pretty late. 10 p.m. was my usual time. Due to this, folks used to come in the office late in the morning as well. Usually entire team would only be in by noon. Management was not happy about this, so they went ahead and decided that everybody had to be in by 10 a.m. And if you are not, then they will dock half day pay. We are salaried, salaried employees. Usually managers were supposed to enforce this, but they didn't care since they were in office with teams themselves. But occasionally HR would stand in the entrance to office and implement the policy. On one such day, I was 15 minutes late and HR at gate stopped me and informed me that I would have a docked half day pay. I stopped for a second, thought about it and turned back. HR stopped me with a shocked expression and asked, where are you going? I replied, back home. I'll see you at lunch and went home ignoring this with a protest. Fair, fair. I would have done the same thing. Fair. You're not paying me for half the day. I'm not going to be here for half the day. I actually ended up calling my manager and just took the day off. After this incident, I heard similar stories from many people that HR stopped enforcing this policy. I love that. Right? See, okay. So the reason why we kind of like started this whole thing too, where it was like malicious compliance, is it toxic? Blah, 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 blah. But like the reason that these people maliciously comply typically is for toxic like reasons. Mm Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, is it toxic and passive aggressive or are these people just fighting with the only leg they have left to stand on? So I I want, I want someone to come fight me on the other side of this. I, okay. So I do, I do want to tell you one that I was racking my brain thinking about any malicious compliance act that that you've had personally. Yes. And I really couldn't figure anything out. It's kind of hard. I challenge all of you guys to think about an instance that you've done. I couldn't. I tried. Yeah. I thought about one. So I was in college at the time. So me and Morgan were in college together at University of Minnesota. Um, The gym there, for some reason, and that's the thing. So I was talking to Morgan about the fact that it is a liberal school. Is this about the cutoff tank tops? Oh, you knew. I didn't even say it to you yesterday. No. You remember? Yeah, they were really annoying about it. So yes, exactly. So I had a t-shirt a normal freaking t-shirt <laughs> and I had the neckline cut off just because that was cool at the time. I think it I was don't a trend. know. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't. No, it was a trend to like cut the neckline off. Yeah, yeah. it was. And, and then anyway, it's more breathable for me too than having like a really tight collared t-shirt. Um, so obviously the policy was because they don't, they want to show less skin, which was really weird to me because they didn't really have policies in our classrooms, but for whatever reason, the gym, they wanted to have fully covered bodies. Yeah. And so I'm wearing a cutoff tee. Well, just the neckline cutoff. And this guy comes up to me and hands me this shirt from, uh, what do you call it? Lost, Lost and Bound. And found. Huge baggy shirt, smelly shirt and says, you can't wear that. You can't. And I said, why? He said, because it's a cutoff. And so I said, all right, I put the baggy t-shirt on and then right in front of him, I grab the neck of this t-shirt and stretch it out to be right around my shoulders. I fucking love that. Uh, Anyway, and then as I left, this was kind of petty, but as I left the gym, I walked right past him and took my shirt off with my sports bra on right in front of him and left the gym. I think that's the thing that's like showcases how different the times are because like girls work out in just sports bras nowadays. Like, and like, that's kind of like the, like, uh, uh, fitness influencer like outfit it's like a sports bra and like it's like a matching mm. set like that's the vibe so it's crazy to me I also think it was crazy because that was like a cutoff yeah, it policy it really dates us god damn it, it does date us but it's also insane because you look at guys that would be at the gym at the same time and all the guys would be wearing t-shirts that they cut off to be tank tops yes and it scooped so yes. low where you would see their see ribs everything. you would see everything it's like you're gonna you're gonna tell me I can't have a scooped Exactly. I can't wear like also like you could you couldn't have a cutoff 
I feel like at one time too, like you could wear tank tops and the next day I came in and it was like, you can't wear tank tops anymore. I don't know. They like were you couldn't weird. have your shoulders showing. This is it the reason so what weird. you said is the exact reason that I was so mad though, because I was watching guys right in front of me have these cut off tees that were, that were worse. That, yeah. That were around their midsection. Whereas mine was just cutting off the collar. Whatever. I'm not trying to impress anyone with my ugly ass. It literally said the shirt had said ugly on there. <laughs> it was lime green and it said ugly. I remember what, it specifically. What else did it say? On the back, it just said zero one. Ugly number one. It was this uh this thing for my sports team that we did as a joke. Okay, okay. Uh, because one of the one of the captains or what do you call it? Yeah. Coach, uh, he used to call everyone like ugly one, ugly number two. Get in line. Oh my he was gosh. he was super it's, funny though. Funny. Yeah. yeah. And so everybody surprised him showing up one day with ugly shirts. That's funny. That's, <laughs> and everyone had a number on the back. That might be malicious compliance as well. That's a good point. You have a lot. <laughs> you have so many. Oh, oh. Wow, look at you. Yeah. So that was that was that. I, I did feel a little bad afterwards because I mean he's just a kid trying to do his job, you know? Yeah. But also I don't know. He didn't have to be the one to enforce it. Like, turn a blind eye. Exactly. Look the other way. Exactly. I'm sorry that my shoulders are too hot for you and you can't focus on your job. (laughs) That's like the thing about like- I'm just kidding. Trying to ban yoga pants in high school. We talked about that the other day. (laughs) I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 